all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Hakadosh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves. Rahakadosh is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. This is a good uh, what's that video from the guy last messages. He kind of I'm not going to play it here, but he kind of comes out tells tells what kind of everybody knows that the elite have been doing but like it's now last messages i see him as like a person who's a little bit he's on the fringe he's he's not quite mainstream but he's got a lot of followers and a lot of people that so it's looking like this information is getting out there you know and uh i want to show you something else well i just went to my feed and i and i could see this you know so um, just some stuff about Will Smith. Not really much to say here, but only that. At first, I thought it was fake, but then I looked and I could see that it was real. It was really real. So, um, or maybe they, I don't know, maybe he had to do that or maybe he's on his way out, you know. Um, but what, there's a there's a feeling, there's a real feeling that um, Esau's Kingdom, NWO, the last empire, the um, empire laid in thick clay, or the feet of the dream of Daniel 11, is crumbling. There's a real feel of that. Let's, let me show you something else. This is the Russian ruble versus the US dollar. Now, Let's do one year, actually. So, Russia went um, around March. Uh, or maybe go back to this one. Russia. This is this is showing that um, the US dollar, the Russian ruble, is coming up in value. Now, what they've done is that he um putin has pegged the russian ruble to gold so um and the us dollar as we all know is, is fiat currency it's just based on the credit it's based on fake um nothingness but the russian ruble has been pegged to gold and also putin also said that if you want to buy Russian oil. If anybody wants to buy Russian oil, they have to pay in rubles. Now, this is damaging the petrodollar and bringing up the ruble. He's Putin has done the G moves, and this is like why he shouldn't. You should leave sleeping bears alone. Like he's actually, um, according to this, it's been about thirty days, thirty one days since the start of the war. So this this shows like a really good. He's actually making more money after the war at this point after the war than he was before he entered the, into the war or the russian ruble is worth more than it was before so it's just the end it's just the end for esau let's 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 uh and esau's empire and scriptures are coming to my head but let's get let's get a few daniel 9 oh no i want daniel 11 Then shall he turn his face toward the fort of his own land, but he shall stumble and fall and not be found. Then shall stand up in his estate a, a razor of taxes in the glory of kingdom, but within a few days he shall be destroyed, neither in anger nor in battle. And in and in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honour of kingdom, but they shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. And with the arms of, of a flood, shall they be brought that shall they be overflown from before them and shall be broken yea also the prince of the covenant and also the league and after the league made with him he shall work deceitfully for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people so uh hold on that's not really the scripture i was looking for
And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind with chariots, and with horsemen, and with many ships, and he shall enter into other enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over and he shall also enter into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown but these shall escape out of his hand even edom and moab and the chief of children of ammon he shall stretch forth his hand unto the countries and the land of egypt shall not escape so edom like land of edom i don't know if that's you know that obviously the land of edom is um questionable but the, the people of Edom and Moab, we know who they are. But he, uh, 43, but he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and over all the precious things of of the Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. So who has the power of gold and silver right now? But tidings out the east and, and who's getting, who's getting um, pally with Moab? But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble them him, therefore he shall go forth great fury to destroy, and utterly to make away many, and he shall plant tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain, yet shall he come to his end and none shall help him. So that's that's that just that's just a rap. <laughs> I can't I can't put, I can't say anything more about that, man. If you don't know, you don't know. If you don't know. But um, yeah, if, if you if you're unsure about what I'm talking about, look up the gold of the Russian ruble. Look how Esau's getting exposed. Look how he's coming at like a whirlwind. Look at how he's he's taking down people, but not with necessarily with bullets. How he's going to take down Babylon, but not necessarily with bullets. You know, um, neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. Just watch the space and see how it goes, man. Follow them scriptures. All right, with that, I'd like to say shalom.